I always thought it was dangerous to drive on ice. This clip is number one because they've done something totally unexpected and seemingly impossible. Incredible. We travel to London to meet the Iceman Jack and his wheels of wonder. Anytime you tell anybody you're an ice sculptor, everybody wants to know everything about it. It is a really fun, interesting job to have. It does vary so much, the work. We could be making a six-foot milk swan. Uh, the next day, we're making a giant zombie hand coming out of the ground. The next day, you're making a car driving an ice wheel. I'd definitely say it's up there with one of the best jobs in the world, yeah. Don't park this car outside a cocktail bar, because you could come back and find that your wheels are now a Mai Tai. But it would stop you from drinking and driving. We really worked it out as much as we could, and so we had confidence it was going to work, but there was still a degree of doubt in everybody's mind, because really the whole idea was a bit outlandish. But the second it did actually move on those wheels was uh, a bit of a delirious moment for everyone, I think. As much as I enjoyed it, it was hard, and, but it was, you know, that final moment made it all worth it. This is the CNC machine that we used to make the actual ice wheel. At the moment, it's cutting quite a basic logo, so it's just a two-dimensional shape, uh, whereas the wheel difference is actually a three-dimensional shape. It's a lot more complicated. So how can ice wheels support the weight of a car? The total mass of this car is over two tons. That means that each wheel needs to support over half a ton. A block of ice the size of a wheel does have enough strength to support the weight of the car. But they didn't want the car to sit on blocks of ice. They wanted to sit on wheels that look like real wheels. By trying to make these wheels lifelike, they've given themselves a load more problems. There's the thin spokes of the wheels, which are much thinner than solid ice. And if they had the bolts straight into the ice, these holes and the pressure of the bolts would cause stress concentrations, which would create cracks and lead to the failure of the wheels. And all of that makes it impossible for the wheel to really be made out of ice. Well, the original plan was to make a full ice wheel like this one. Uh, but obviously, as you can see, it's quite delicate in the centre, so we actually used two facades of ice that clad onto this acrylic rim. This way, the acrylic was carrying the bulk of the load of the car. In fact, acrylic's compressive strength can be 10 times stronger than that of ice. And obviously, it was crystal clear, so uh, you barely noticed it was there in the final shot, which is great. You could say they're cheating, but I think they've taken some brilliant physics and used it to create an incredible spectacle. Nice job, guys.